guess what this bag is? Not a purse. It's my makeup bag, and I'm gonna be doing a tutorial. Uh, not a tutorial. Psh. I'm gonna be doing a what's in my makeup bag video. I have a lot of new makeup that I've been purchasing with over the last few weeks, and so I thought that I would let you guys in on what I've been using. Um, just because you're curious on, you know, some good drugstore products because I think these are really good. Let's just get into this video and into this bag. I seriously don't know where to start. There's so much stuff in here. It's crazy. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this makeup, which is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. I wear the shade Coconut and basically most of these are coconut, so if you're wondering what foundation shade I am, I'm coconut. So if you think you're my complexion, then coconut girl, coconut. Um, I got this one. It's not, it doesn't make you, it doesn't have like a matte finish. It gives you kind of like a glowy finish, but it has sunscreen in it, which is great to protect your skin. And then it also has a pump, which is awesome. Only downside is this thing costs $10. The other one costs like five, just because of this pump. Foolishness. And so I also have two other foundations by the same people. I love Maybelline. Like you're gonna see a lot of Maybelline products because I love them so much. This one is matte and poreless. And this is not in the shade coconut. This one was in the shade spicy brown. And then this one is coconut, but this is not matte. This is doing smooth, which is kind of like that one. And they both, this one has sunscreen in it. This one is for normal to oily skin. But the one I've been loving is the other one. The first one I showed you guys because that's the other one. Okay, now for concealer. So I've been loving Maybelline. Um, this is the It's an Age Renewal. I use this under my eyes and I use it on my, right in the middle of my nose to like, I don't know, lighten it, make it lifted, I guess you would say. And then for under my eyebrows, because I don't always get my eyebrows arched or waxed. Yeah, I don't do that often enough. That I need to do um, so I use this to like highlight it a little bit more make it look a little bit more defined and this is the Rimmel London match perfection concealer two-in-one concealer it's a concealer and a, a lighter a light highlighter um, so yeah I think this is like one of the few rim, rim, Rimmel products that I have I have like maybe two others but yeah I don't really use it that much but I love it because of the little brush at the end for powder, guess what shade this is? <laughs> this is coconut. This is my Fit Me um, coconut powder by Maybelline. This is just a nice powder for to make sure you're not oily, and it comes in this nice little case. And then, like, what I really love about this case, it has a mirror on it too. It comes with a little brush pad thing, but I don't use it. I use my own my own makeup brush. So, so then I have a ton of brushes. I don't know where some of these are from, but the majority of the brushes that you do see are, oh gosh, are e.l.f. Like, except for this one with the pink thing. Everything else is e.l.f. I like e.l.f. products. Um, and then I have like a few Wet n' Wild. Like this one's Wet n' Wild. Um, but most of it's e.l.f. because e.l.f. Is just awesome at making cheap affordable brushes for the girl who don't have a lot of money that's me I use the baby skin instant pore eraser by hint hint Maybelline I actually have another one in here because I'm almost out of this one so I bought another one because I didn't want to like run out and not have any I love this stuff so much this stuff is awesome and great and yeah I really like it so I think it's like I want to say probably like seven dollars um, so if you're looking for a primer and you don't have a lot of money, then try that out because that's, that's my go-to. It used to be CoverGirl. For my eyebrows, the only thing that I use is this Milani um, Easy Brow Pencil. This is the only one I use. This is the only thing that I use. For eyeliner, I have two. I actually stopped using, well, no, no, that's a lie. For winged eyeliner, <clears throat> which is black, which I have all in black. I have two. Um, this is the same thing. This is the Milani um, Black is Black Eye Technique Extreme Liquid Eyeliner. I stopped using this because I found this, which is really good. This just, it went on so light that it didn't really look black as black. And I got the blackest one. 
I'm just like, come on, show a little bit darker. God, that felt like I just had to keep going over and going over and, over and still no result. Then I found this beautiful thing. And this is NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Oh my gosh, I have it on right now if you can see it. And it is black as I don't know what. I think this isn't black. Yeah, it's just black. And it's black as I don't know what. It's matte, which is awesome. And yeah, I just love it a lot. I love it a lot. The little tip of it is just so easy to maneuver around guiding it around my eye. And it's awesome. I don't even think I let you guys know. I have a code. If you've watched my previous video, then you'll probably know, because I'm probably gonna post that video before this video. I have a code, so mind the mind the voice. Um I guess we'll go to mascara. We're doing mascara. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, so the mascara that I use all oh, is Maybelline. All oh, Maybelline. What is wrong with me? Maybelline, I'm obsessed with you. Um Maybelline, this is the Lash Stiletto, I got this one in waterproof and it's black because I don't hate black, you know, stuff to make my eyes stand. Okay, anyways, this is the Bossy's Push Up Drama. Ooh, this was my first real, really good mascara. This thing is still good. It's just very dramatic, so I don't wear it on the regular. But like, I plan on doing another Valentine's Day video, so I might wear it that day. Then I have this one, which just came out, which is the Push Up Angel, so the falsies, and this is really good too, so yeah. The, it's just that a lot of people don't like the way the brush is. I don't mind it. I mean, it's a little it's a little complicated, but it's still good, so. I kind of just thought it was like terrible, and then it was complicated. I'm like, oh, no, I'm not using that. And then I just got this one. This one's just like the basic, like, oh, I just want to look natural, real chill, no drama, just... Natural lashes. Well, I didn't even put on any. Let's just look like I'm just blessed. That's what this is. This is the Rocket Volume Express, and I like this, especially for using on my bottom lashes, which I have it on. My top lashes, I have the stiletto, and my bottom lashes, I have on this one. And it just, yeah, it's just, it's a nice product. It's a nice, nice smooth product. It's a good time. It's a good time. Okay. Now for eyeshadows. Oh gosh, let's do this. Okay, I got some stuff that I don't even use anymore that I'm probably gonna throw away. But I'm gonna show you guys because I have it in here. So it's not like I have it with me in my makeup bag. I'm showing you what's in my makeup bag. Not stuff that I love, but stuff that I hate. I mean, most of the stuff in here that is that I love. Some of the stuff right here that I don't use, that's probably throw away because, you know, makeup expires, you guys, if y'all didn't know that. So it's kind of important to toss it to the side if you don't use it anymore. Um, so these two are eyeshadow palettes from Maybelline, of course, iStudio. Um, this one's called Downtown Denim. This one's called Morocco Mirage. And I wear these, actually. I just wore this one not too long ago, a couple weeks ago, and I wear this one often, so I really actually like these. I do wear those. These two I don't wear anymore and these are the 24 hour eye studio color tattoos this was struggle midnight this one i can't see because i cut it off i think it's shadow day or sunny day sky or something like that this is blue and black and i don't wear them anymore so i might actually get rid of these because yeah i don't wear them anymore this is an old covergirl palette which i don't know why it's still in here i should throw it away um and this is just like really old. This was like probably like one of the first makeup products that I really bought in my life. So hey, I should throw that away. I think I'm keeping it because I want to know if I can match some of the, the shades with other palettes. Which I have some of them. Not really all of them. Like this one. This is an elf palette. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. This is a Wet n Wild palette. And a lot of people use this palette. I've seen it on YouTube a lot. And I really like it a lot. It's called Comfort Zone. The dark colors are really pigmented, so if you want to try it, I think it's five dollars, maybe. I'm not sure. And then I have this one, <clears throat> hint hint, Maybelline, um, and I just love it. This is the blush nudes, and this palette you've probably seen in my videos if you've been watching my videos. <laughs> if not, then go check out some of my makeup videos, and you'll see this palette. This is a really nice nude palette, um, and then. 
I have these two, which I use this one a lot. I just got this one and I've been I'm wearing it right now uh, for my crease line. I'm using this color right here for the crease, which I don't know what they are. This one's called Smokey, of course, Smokey Eye. And this one's called Matte for Plum. And yeah, they're really good. These are from e.l.f. and I wanna say they're probably like three, four dollars. <throat> and then I have this e.l.f. palette, which I just got, which I am obsessed with. So obsessed with, because it's so beautiful. And these are all matte. This is called Mad for Matte, and it's awesome. And it was $10, and I love it a lot. I use it as like my base eyeshadow for, before I put on like any other colors or anything like that. I don't use this. So this is by Rimmel. I told you I would have a few products from them. And this has a highlighter, a contour, and a blush. This contour don't do anything for my shade. The highlighter is, just makes me look weird. And the blush, maybe I'll try it in spring. I don't know. I just, I'm probably going to throw that away. I don't use it. So what's the point of me keeping it, right? So then I have... Another highlighter, which I'll show you guys right now, which is the e.l.f. highlighter. This is um, Blush Gems, and I like this one a lot. Um, I don't use it often, because I'm not really good at highlighting. I just feel like I'm doing it wrong, and it's just weird, but I use it quite often, though. This one is really nice, and it's very pigmented, so you can really see the highlights. There are three blushes that I've been loving, loving, loving is Maybelline's. <laughs> Dream Bouncy Blush. <laughs> Everything's Maybelline in this video. I should just say my Maybelline makeup bag, right? Um, pink Plum, Coffee Cake, and Plum Wine. And I feel like they're just like three great colors for any occasion. I don't use this anymore, so I should probably get rid of it. This is the Wet n Wild Ombre <laughs> Blush. Didn't work that well for me. And then <clears throat> I have two CoverGirl blushes that I don't use which are called cheeker cheekers cheekers yeah true plum rock and rose I don't really use them anymore ever since I found the Maybelline ones I'm just all about the Maybelline I have a Maybelline one on right now I think it's the pinkish looking one this one which is pink plum so I've been in love with those and just like whatever with these so. all right so now I'm gonna go with the other eyeshadows I have and some of these are eyeliner, lip liners, so I'm gonna figure out which one's which and tell you about this. This I got in my birch box, which I have a video on my channel if you wanna see that. I actually stopped doing that video because no one really was interested in me talking about what I got in the birch box. Plus, it just wasn't something I felt like putting my money into. I wanted to go out and buy products that I would like instead of getting random stuff and seeing if I liked it. I don't know. I just didn't think it was like beneficial to me. But I did like this and I kept it. And this is um, just a gold cargo eyeliner. <clears throat> then I have this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, which is purple velvet and it's really pretty. I don't wear it that often. I should wear it more often. Maybe I'll wear it around Valentine's Day. <gasps> I have, okay, is this an eyeliner? Yeah. This is a blue eyeliner. Jordania, Jordania, I think is what it's called. I really honestly don't even know where I got this from. I don't know, I have no idea. I just, I have it though. And then I have this one, Maybelline, the Master Precision Skinny um, Gel Pencil, which is in black, I believe, because I always get everything in black. And it's very tiny, so it's good for like, getting like right in the corner. Eyes, this is my favorite one, and this is my Rimmel. And this is the Scandalous Eyes Eyeshadow Stick. This is crayon size. This is black. And this is awesome for me. Like, making the bottom of my waterline very bold and black in a statement. This is awesome for that. <clears throat> I have this Wet n Wild um, eyeliner. I want to say this is Calling Your Bluff. And I have not worn this at all. It's brand new. See? It says a seal on it. So maybe I should try that. Then I have this Wet n Wild, which is called Chestnut. I have worn this a couple of times, and this is actually a lip liner. This is not an eyeliner. I should have told you guys that we moved on to lip liners. This is a lip liner. I've only worn it a couple of times, but I don't wear lip liners that often. 
This one's by CoverGirl. This is The Perfection. And this is basically red, but it's called Passion. Then I have this one by Rimmel. So I have like four or five things by Rimmel, I guess. And this is a lip liner as well called Rich, which I don't wear that often. And this is CoverGirl, The Perfection, Seduce, and this, or Seduce, Seduction. No. Yeah, Seduce. Um, and I wear this one either. It's like a nude, but I don't, I don't really do the lip liner thing anymore. Um, because I'm obsessed with my lipsticks. So let's go get into that. Um, so let me show you guys. What am I doing? I'm gonna put some stuff back into the bag. So in this little bag, I have some out of it because I need to get another bag. But it's in my makeup bag as well. Is all my lipsticks. <clears throat> I have a lot of them. Actually, this is not all of them. There's one somewhere in my backpack, my, my workout backpack that I need to go find. So I can show you guys. Some of these I need to throw away. I know I need to throw them away. They look a little jank. They look a little dirty. They're not dirty. They just make fall over them. And I just need to let them go. They're cracked and yeah. But hang on to them so I can remember what they are so that if I want to rebuy them, I can rebuy them. This is by Wet n Wild. This is called Bear It All. I was obsessed with this color so much that I bought two of them. And so, yeah. Yeah, that happened. Then I have this one by Wet n Wild which is called Cherry Bomb, which is a pretty like burgundy color. I have this one, which is called Cinnamon Spice, which is kind of like a burgundy-ish color too. I know they're dirty, don't judge me. Well, not dirty, but you know, there's lipstick all over them, there's cracks in them. I didn't do a great job at storing my makeup when I first started off with this hobby. This is what, it was a hobby, now it's just an obsession. I have Cherry Pickings, which is a really pretty, like, reddish pink color on me, anyways. This one is basic burgundy, and this is called Blind Date, and I don't use it, and it's wet and wild, and I feel sad that I bought it and I'm not using it. This one is called Marvel Out of Here. So, I don't know, it's pink, basically. Wet and wild, also. I went through a wet and wild phase because they're so cheap. Like, I think these are like $2 each. So, yeah. Um, this one's called Black Orchid, which is a really, like, it's brown on me. It might be burning on someone else, but me is brown. And this one is Stoplight Red. And this is just a very bright, bold red color. Um, and then I have, let's see. So, but this is. I was so interested in it because it was by Katy Perry, you know? Who doesn't love Katy Perry? And so I tried it. This is called Cat Call. I wanted another color, but they didn't have it. And this is a matte lipstick. It's okay. I might wear it in the springtime. You know? I just, I haven't only worn it one time. Then I have a lot of NYX. <laughs> I have a lot of NYX. And a lot of, oh wait, am I a lie? Is this, no, this is, nope, I'm not a lie. That is it. That's the only cover girl. Of stuff I have. I have a lot of NYX, I have a lot of Maybelline, and I have a lot of Milani. Um, besides all the Wet n Wild that you just thought that I don't use. All these things I do use. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is this Violet Vixen, which is by Maybelline. And this is a beautiful purple color, which I love. And I took some pictures on my Instagram, so if you're not following my Instagram, go check that out so you can see what this looks like on me, if you're interested. And this one's called Touch of Spice. I found this one on Pinterest. I was like, ooh, what color is that? And I hunted it down and I finally found it at the store. I got it from Target, I think. And then this is just a nude color. It's so pretty. And it's actually matte. So, yeah. Yeah, who doesn't love matte? Then I have... What's this? <clears throat> Should we just go on to NYX, I guess? NYX, NYX, NYX. Because I only got four Milani. And one of them I really hate, so. This is, the first next product I'm gonna show you that I have in my bag is this Soft Matte Lip Cream. I have a few of these. And this one's Tokyo. And it's just pink. It's, it's, a, it's a light pink. It's a light pink. On me it is. This one is like, basically a hot pink. And this is also the lip cream. These are all mattes, by the way. Well, those were mattes, by the way. Um. Then I have this one, which is also matte. This one's called Stockholm, and yeah, it's just a nude. I like the nudes, I like the reds, I like the pinks. I like, I like, I like, I like trying out new colors. <laughs> this one is 
what I'm wearing right now. So if you're interested in it, this is it. <laughs> this is um, NYX's Intense Butter Gloss. This is Toasted Marshmallow. Love this color. It took me forever to find it and I'm obsessed with it. I think it was like $7 maybe. Then I have this by NYX. <clears throat> and this is a cream lipstick. And this is the color Submissive Socialite. And it's purple. It's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. I love it a lot. It's just a dark, rich purple. It's gorgeous. And I love it a lot. Then I have this NYX that I don't really wear anymore. And it's just basically red. It's called Perfect Red. And it's red. <sighs> Let me go get the other one. <laughs> Hold on. Is the Intense Butter Gloss. And this is called Chocolate Crepe. This is amazing. I wear it in a lot of my recent videos so if you want to see how this color looks go look at some videos and you'll see it this is an awesome color and I love it a lot I've been really into like the glosses lately because I just like the way they make my lips look okay enough for that and then I have like I have other utensils in my bag but I'm not gonna show you guys it's just like the eyelash curler which I don't even know where I got it from a few beauty blenders this um tweezer by elf you know just a few random knickknacks makeup products or beauty products not makeup products and then I have why is this one upside down get to get Rihanna I have four of these Milani um, matte lipstick and yeah I found I found these on Pinterest well I was looking at Pinterest and I found that a lot of girls were wearing these in the place of like Kylie lip kits because you know I can afford those so I was looking for the alternative and a lot of people were raving about these, so I tried them and I like them, except for this color. This is the one I'm gonna start off with. This is called Obsession. This color is terrible. It goes on very like cakey and it doesn't like completely cover all of your lips. Unlike the other NYX one that I showed you, it was purple. It covers all of my lip. This one doesn't. I just have to keep reapplying, reapplying, then my lips feel all heavy and it just so, no, this is a terrible color. I'm definitely gonna throw this away. I just don't know why I haven't done it yet. <laughs> Then I have the other three colors, which are awesome. This one is Precious, and this is basically a pink color. And this is really cute, and I really like it. Then I have this one, which is called Loved, and this is basically a nude color. And I love, love, love this one. First, I thought I was getting this one when I bought the Precious one, and I realized it was a different color. So I was looking for this one originally. This was the first one. I made me obsessed with the line, and so this is the color that is awesome. And then the last one is a red color, which is going to be in my next video because I'm going to be doing the bold red Valentine's Day lip. So I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on how to make that look happen. And I'm going to be using this, and this is basically Devotion, and this is Milani. Yeah, Milani. So that's the end of this video. That's all of the makeup that I have in my makeup bag. I don't have that much makeup. Not like a lot of people. I hope you guys like this video. And, you know, let me know if you want to see any other videos in the comment section below. And, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for your support. Um, don't forget to subscribe so you'll see new videos that I'm going to post soon. And, mm, so I, <laughs> bye, guys.